in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the reality, Realities Temple on Earth. <laughs> I'm the host and the gatekeeper of this uh, program. Known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, 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 mm, angel snub nub seven. I am your soul brother, number one. <laughs> what brings me to this topic I was on Facebook and I saw a post and the brother who made the post, the author, said he made a statement that Malcolm X was not a true criminal. He was not a smooth criminal. He was not a real criminal. And many, you would listen to Malcolm's story and hear of how Malcolm described his life. And we would concur that Malcolm seemed to be a smooth criminal. He was shot by a smooth criminal. <laughs> I began to think about that. Just because you live a criminal type lifestyle really don't make you a, a criminal. Some persons adopt that lifestyle Because that's all they knew. They that's Malcolm, even though he was involved in it, remember Malcolm came from a family that was Garveyites. So he still had that in his mind. That's why he was attracted to the teachings of Elijah Muhammad, because the nation of Islam was much like the Pan-African Marcus Garvey movement. That's why he was attracted because that was, that was part of him. It's not like he grew up in gang activity. It's not like he grew up and was influenced by criminal activity. He got involved in something because of his circumstance. Because of what happened to his family. But that his, his mother was not a, a criminal. His father was not a criminal. They were Garvites. Garveyites, however you want to pronounce it. So when you really think about it, even though Malcolm was caught up in criminal behavior, he really wasn't a, a criminal. And when you think about it, if Malcolm really was a criminal, then why Malcolm wasn't up on game? Because all religion is a game. All religion is, is nothing but a, 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 a pimp and prostitution. I use myself for an example. I always, even from a child, I always wanted to be part of the nation of Islam. But I was too young. I wasn't in the right circumstance. But, but as soon as my situation changed, and even though Elijah Muhammad was gone, I seen Louis Farrakhan, and my relatives had joined Farrakhan, so I joined Farrakhan. And for a little while, it was cool. But as you mature, as you grow older, and you start looking at what you're doing, I'm like, something is wrong. What's wrong? What's wrong is that you're getting pimped. Louis Farquhar was my pimp and I'm the prostitute. 
put bean pies in my hand and the newspaper in my hand. Elijah Muhammad put bean pies in your hand and Muhammad speaks in your hand. Go out the street. Go get me my money. And when you come back to the temple, where my money? Just like that prostitute, when she come off the street, where my money? And they won't tell the truth about the matter, but in some cases, especially back in the day, around some of those crazy Muslims, you get your ass whooped. At minimum, you get bought out. That's all you can do. Same thing what pimps do to prostitutes. Where are my money? So how could Malcolm be this criminal and didn't realize he was getting hustled? He was getting pimped. He's a prostitute. How many prostitutes become millionaires being pimped? This man gave Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam 12 years and didn't have nothing. The same way that or what would happen in a situation with a pimp. How do you get caught up in all that? Before I go on, let me say, when Elijah Muhammad died, they estimate that the Nation of Islam was worth $80 million. How much of that $80 million did those brothers and sisters get? How much of that $80 million was they in control of? Nothing. Because the pimp is in control of everything. The pimp is riding in the big car, the fancy house. He ain't getting nothing. I was around in Farrakhan's camp almost nine years. He ain't getting nothing. You work on the streets. This, this is the hustle that they got. You work. Not only they're going to get what you. You're going to give them hustle. On the street for them. Then you're going to go in your own pocket. And give them more money. Save that they give. Take care of them. You're already hustling for them. People following Farrakhan or any of these people. You ain't, they're not getting nothing. Just getting pimped. So, now for me, I began to see early. I'm getting hustled. I'm, this is a pimp. You're not getting nothing out, out of this. How could Malcolm be part of that for 12 years? And he's a criminal and don't realize he was getting hustled. He was a prostitute. Or he was a puppet for this man. Because you didn't get nothing. And then the little rag house that they let him live in, they burned it down. They won't give him nothing. So how do you get caught up being pimped? This is what a lot of pimps do. They take advantage of your situation. We are, we are oppressed in America and we went through slavery and all like that. So here come the pimp. God has come for you. God loves you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You, you're righteous by nature. That's what pimps do. Many of the women will tell you that's how they're pimps. You, you're doing bad and, and, and whatever. I, I'll be your man. I, I'll protect you. God come here to protect you and fend for you. And one of the things that y'all really, really love is when the pimps say, you God. Black man is God. They ain't never part of their hustle. And a pimp would say, now you could be a beautiful woman, but I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to put that in your mind and smile in your face. I care about you. And you nothing but his H. Go get me my money. The black man is God. God do this for us. You're the chosen people of God. Go get me my money. Put in my tithes. Go get me my hustle. Get me my money. 
That's what it's all about. It's a pimp game. Because there's no evidence to show that you you or they are God. How long you been told that if you God, where your power at? If you God, what you need them for? If you God, you should be able to operate without some messenger. Only thing they're supposed to do is bring the message that you God. Damn, I'm God. Wow. What you need, you still need to use them to operate from. Because you're a prostitute. You need your pimp. That ain't nothing but a hustle. It makes you feel good. And we love feeling good. So it's religion. It's entertainment. Food. Pornography. Liquor. Maybe even YouTube videos. Anything. Anything. That make you feel good. And you pay money to your pimp. And you get nothing out of it. It's all a hustle. So these modern day pimps on YouTube. You get what? You go out and hustle and you give them your money. And they and you love them because they tell you beautiful things about you. You don't like me because I <laughs> because we keep it real here. You want somebody to lie to you. You like liars. You want somebody to put you on the street. Go get me my money. This all you got? You better get down and get my money. So I know you don't like me. If I wanted your money, I would lie to you. Tell you you God. And I'll tell you the beautiful story that you want to hear because you really don't want to work for nothing. You, you want to die and go to a beautiful place. All these fairy tales and mythology and everything is wonderful. And you don't have to do nothing. And you will be happy to give me money. It's all a hustle. Religion, even spirituality, it's nothing but a hustle. You get nothing out of it. Except feeling good. I know Malcolm. He felt so bad. Because all this. He gave all his life to this. And it turned. But he didn't. He, he just didn't know. So he couldn't have been. As intelligent as we thought he was. Just because you supposed to be intelligent and you can read a lot of books don't make you intelligent. There's a lot of people educated. They believe virgins have babies. They believe all the nonsense in religion. How the hell can you be so educated but you believe in all this fairy tale mythology foolishness? That goes to show you're not as educated, not as, as intelligent as you think. But that's how they get you hooked. Keep giving you these ac accolades. Telling you how beautiful and wonderful you are. The bottom line is, give me my money. Except reality, my friend, is much easier. <laughs> and it don't, you don't have to worry about giving some sucker all your money for nothing. 